Stan Gibalisco here from the main office of my little nerd castle in the hills. Main office meaning uh, main workstation where I write my books or where I do most of my heavy duty writing. There's my website. Shows up on this computer. You can click on that upper link there, Books Available at Amazon, www.sciencewriter.net. That secondary monitor there has some wallpaper. It's a nebula uh, image, courtesy of Great Images in NASA. I believe it might be a Hubble Space Telescope picture, but you can go to Great Images in NASA, download that. There's a couple of speakers. I finally relented and got a couple of speakers, amplified speakers, for this uh, Hewlett Packard notebook computer. Um, full size keyboard. You always got to have a full size keyboard when you're a serious writer. This keypad right there lets you uh, encode special characters uh, that you would otherwise have a great deal of difficulty. You'd have to copy and paste them. But what the point of this particular video is, is to announce and promote this book, Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics, 3rd edition. Note the spiral binding. I just think that's the coolest thing. I was going to say since Big Island Bakery sourdough rye bread, but I've, I've harped on that before. Just got this by FedEx today from McGraw-Hill, uh, my publisher, Advance Copies. Uh, I highly recommend this book. The, I revised it uh, from a previous author. And you know, I honestly, in my old age, I'm forgetting who that author was. He was a. You can look it up, though, on Amazon. Look up the second edition. Look up the author. A very good and well known McGraw Hill author who uh, I didn't really. Well, all I did was I redrew all the diagrams and introduced some new material in this book. I redrew all of these uh, schematics with my standard set of symbols and there's an example right there. <clears throat> uh, that looks kinda like a generic amplifier circuit using an NPN bipolar transistor. It has the TAB imprint, uh, the TAB McGraw-Hill imprint. Go to Amazon.com, just click on this. I think you'll find it right at the very top. You click on there, you'll find uh, the books that you can get. And if you are uh, into electronics but not enough to know how to read schematics very well or how to draw them very well, that is a book I recommend for you. And with that, I will no longer yammer, except to note, in the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, today it is raining. No big deal, early October, October 3rd, 2013 or 2013. However, this rain is going to change to snow tonight. For the next 36 hours, we will get heavy snow. They predict anywhere from 1 to 3 feet. I figure about 2 feet here, but it's very hard to say. In any case, I'm probably not going anywhere tomorrow. So I'll get a chance to check and be sure that all of my uh, requested Page proof changes got made in this book. I'm sure they did. Very good uh, compositor I worked with. Have every faith in the world about them. Enjoy. The spiral binding is cool because if you're at your workbench, you would open this thing up and it'll lay flat. It won't close on you. And the other thing about paper bound books, <clears throat> if I may say so, you can spill coffee on them and it won't destroy them. It may stain them, but it won't destroy them. They don't need to boot up. They'll work even during the power failure that we very well may have within the next 48 hours here in the Black Hills of Dakota Territory. So with that, Stan Gibalisco signing off. So long.